Hi, welcome to Niche Craft. My name is Cassie and I'm your host. And if you like this look, all you have to do is hop in the shower, take a shower, wash your hair, then come out of it and just towel dry your hair, let it dry um, absolutely naturally, put some rosehip oil on your face and you are done because I am feeling so low maintenance today, you don't even know. And I'm excited because it's Mystery Bucks Monday and I have some really awesome yarn to show you guys. <laughs> so um, I have really fallen in love with um, Yarnable Yarn by Hypnotic Yarn, okay? And I have a link below where you can sign up for, for Yarnable if you are impressed with these, which hopefully you are. <laughs> um, and hopefully this will be fun. So I have the April bag with me that I just got in the mail, okay? So this is like a mystery um, subscription box where they send you um, yarn and you get to pick what cost you want to spend or the price based on what different packages they offer. They offer both DK weight and sock weight. Okay. So, um, you know, so you can pick between those two. You can also get just one Hank, um, or you can get one Hank and a complimentary color. Um, that, so that would be like a hundred grams plus 50 grams in a complimentary color. If you're getting the sock, for example, that would be great for the toes and the heel and all of that kind of stuff, you know. So that's an example of what you could use for that. Or you can get two 100 gram hanks, <laughs> you know, you can get an extra one. And also the 50 gram hank, it, you're in complete control over how much it costs. Um, my package that I get, I went ahead and right now I'm signed up for the 100 gram hank plus the complimentary color plus an extra hank which is um i believe the most expensive one and that is still under a hundred dollars so it's pretty pretty well priced and just like knit crate they have a store of all of the stuff that they have that you know for example they dye more yarn than people actually order and then you can go and purchase more if you want in their shop and um, you always get a little coupon with your purchase and so that so you end up saving on that as a member or if you don't want to um, deal with the mystery about it and everything and you just but you do still appreciate the yarn or if you um, are a member starting out, but you really like another yarn that they put out later earlier, you know, you can always get that as well. Um, they allow you to skip months if you need to, um, and all of that stuff too. Really, really great. And you don't just get yarn, you always get bonus stuff too. So I'm first going to show you the March one. Um, but I have to admit that I did take off some of the labels to like more like like to inspect the yarn more but you'll get the full experience from my april box okay so i'm going to be showing you two different um packages okay and again i have the most expensive one in the dk all right so here is the first one this is marches and we have this beautiful blue green colorway here so i got this one well, let me go ahead and unhank it so you guys can see what it looks like in full it's super soft um it's a i believe yeah it's 85 percent nylon and um and then um 15 i'm sorry it's, <laughs> it's 85 percent wool and 15 percent nylon so yeah it's really nice really pretty obviously you can see the drape really nice drape um it's it's very um you know it's very soft and you can yeah you can see pretty easily how well that drape is when when i almost make it <laughs> um get a little bit tangled up there which i'm glad i didn't but yeah and it's really pretty um you can tell that it's hand dyed number one but you can also tell that the person who's hand dyeing this obviously takes pride in their work and is willing to work for your package so this was the main color and then this um which you know this had a tag like this but this is a 50 gram um complementary color to this which i think i think they go together really well i like it um but anyway we have this and uh yeah it's 85 15 superwash merino nylon and this is a 50 grams this is 123 yards so i would imagine that this is 
246 yards. And again, I get two of them. So not only do I get this one, which is dangerously close to becoming tangled, so I hope that I can keep track of this. Thankfully, I'm a yarn dyer myself, and I know how to untangle hanks of yarn. But yeah, so I got two of these, okay? Um, and so I've got, um, they're exactly the same. I mean, every everyone's going to be different because it's hand dyed, but they're exactly the same as in, I got two hanks of of this color and then I got the 50 gram of this. So I've got 250 grams, very nice. Um, but in addition for the March box, I got a tropical travel pack, okay, which is really cool. So I got, um, as you can see on this, the Hawaiian shampoo, the Hawaiian conditioner, ocean spray, foaming salt scrub, and the Tropics face mask. And that is tightening and brightening so you can get your glow on. And you guys already know my secret, <laughs> which is rosehip oil. You guys, I just didn't feel like putting on makeup. Some days I just really don't want to put on makeup. So um, just wanted to show you how big these are. They're big, okay? So, so in the March box, I got some really nice pampering stuff and I have not used it yet um so I'm really looking forward to it and maybe I'll do it today actually <laughs> oh don't you guys love swimming in the ocean well maybe you guys don't okay I I can't speak for everybody but I do um it always makes me feel so much more um healthy when I get out of the ocean and like all of that salt has kind of like help me detox and also put in all of those minerals that you can absorb through your skin, like um, magnesium and stuff like that. <laughs> I always feel really, really healthy. Um, and then, but then the sun, I mean, it can be, some people love it, some people don't, and I totally get that. But anyway, so I did want to make sure while I was um, showing you guys the Yarnable um, subscription boxes, what, what they looked like. I wanted to show you both of them, okay? But this is the one that I'm really excited about, and this is the one that's a mystery. It's April's um, bag by Hypnotic Yarn. Um, so again, the company is Yarnable, okay? You should be able to see that there. And the website is yarnable.net. So I just wanted to let you know that I am including a link in the description and that link helps me out because it is an affiliate link. It um, gives me just a percentage back, um, which just helps this channel stay functioning, you know, helps, helps me pay for, you know, all the equipment I need and all of that in order to continue bringing you amazing videos. Obviously you don't have to use a link. You could just go to yarnable.net, but for those of you who want to help me out and everything, that's always appreciated. No pressure though, okay? So, <laughs> April's box. So something that you guys didn't get to see is that they always come in these little, um, these little um, draw, drawstring bags. I really like them because you can use them for a whole lot of cool stuff too. So you can keep them. So my extras came in on organza bag, <laughs> all right? Um, so it's nice to have extras also sorted out like that. And then this is my um, full skein and then that 50 gram skein here in another one of those drawstring bags. Again, these, um, I hold on to them because I can use them. And just so you know, I have the other two right here with my, um, with my March one. Um, I just didn't, I, I had already taken them out, so I figured, why not? So here we go. I'm gonna open the one with one skein first. So this is like the bare minimum of what you would get in a subscription would be one hank of yarn. And you can either get it in DK or in sock weight. And this is, oh, very interesting. Okay, so this one's called Some Bunny Loves You. So let's look at this. Take a minute and look at it, see all those speckles and also the different colors that are coming out there in that particular colorway. It's interesting, that's for sure. We've got some purples and browns and yellows here. I'm going to go ahead and suggest that these, or, or it's oranges. I'm gonna go ahead and suggest that these oranges here are um, from the dye splitting. Um, that happens sometimes when you speckle. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take this off, okay? But again, I just wanna say for the DK, it is 85 Superwash Merino and 15 Nylon. Um, and it's 246 yards for 100 grams. 
Okay, so now that I'm taking it off, I see a little bit better what's going on here. So we have purples in this kind of almost taupe gray brown here, okay? And I'm thinking that that brown is what ended up um, creating those speckles. I'm not certain though, okay. Now that I'm looking at it again, see, you know, as you open it up, you get to see more and more. So those speckles are intentional, definitely. And now that I'm looking at it, it looks like some of those speckles are a darker blue. Um, you might be able to see yourself. Um, the color is showing up true on the camera. And then there's places here where it's a lot softer. Okay, where we have that brown and like, like purple like a lavender color here and then we have you know again you know those little orange speckles so how do I feel about this color um honestly I don't really <laughs> don't really like it that much I mean I think it's I get that it's beautiful and it's artisan and and all of that um I just personally don't like orange with my purple and brown um like if if it's going to be purple then I don't really want orange to be there because I just personally don't like purple and orange together. Um, speckles are all right. I don't mind them. Um, but the way that it's done in this, I just can't get behind it for me personally. But that doesn't mean that I don't like the yarn. That doesn't mean that I wouldn't continue to order this. It's just this particular colorway um, I like less than the colorway for... Um, I, I need to pick up this one instead. Um, then the colorway for March. Um, but I, I mean, I still can tell that she did a really good job with her colors. And she obviously wanted this to be a speckled yarn too. You know, it's not like this was an accident. <laughs> you know, um, you can tell that there's intention behind it. And I could definitely say, I can think of several people already um, just off the top of my head that would love this colorway. So yeah, I do like the brown and the purple together. I think that I just like things a little bit less complicated, but <laughs> it's still beautiful. <laughs> so again, I got two of them. Um, and just for some comparison, um, I'd like to open up this skein as well to see, um, just how it compares to the other Hank. Um, because I think that it's important that when there's speckles like that to point out that it is definitely intentional. See, these, these speckles are intentional no matter, you know, so it wasn't like it was an oops, you know, this is intentional spe speckling. That's what it looks like what's in, when it's intentional. Um, and again, you still have that soft brown and purple there too. And really, you know, I, like I said, I can think of so many people that would love this colorway that I could totally make um, like a spring shawl um, or something like that for them out of this and they would love it. So it's definitely something that I can use, no problem. So again, it's, you know, you, you um, it's a surprise, so you never know what you're going to get. Um, and here is the 50 gram um Here's a 50 gram mini skein. And this one is called Stormy Skies. Now look at this. That is a deep blue. I would say, I want to say that it is a navy blue, but in person you can see that it's got a little bit of purple in it. Very dark, you know? It's definitely, I, it's hard for me to, ex to say with my particular eyes because I see red when when sometimes people don't see it I'm able to see it <laughs> which is funny because I'm technically don't see red as well but um, one thing about not being able to see red is that it does show up as a different color right next to other colors so when I'm looking at this I know it's not all navy blue um, and it does have like there's a little bit of, of um, purpley color in this or there's a little bit of red in if this is supposed to be navy blue there's a little bit of red in the navy blue and just comparing it to my shirt actually you can maybe see a little bit of a difference um and now that i'm looking at this definitely this color right here that's that speckle this speckling right here that has got to be this color um, separating there so i bet that is intentional because again they go together 
So <laughs> that's another thing to remember. Um, so again, um, I'm very pleased with my order. It's exactly, you know, it's exactly what I purchased. And I got um, some really interesting colors here. Um, again, just because I personally don't like the colors doesn't mean that I can't use it. It doesn't mean that I can't use it and make something absolutely beautiful that somebody else would love. Um, and I got to say that the softness of this is really top notch. Um, it's, it's just really nice. <laughs> I've just got to say it's really, really, really nice and soft. I, I would recommend this yarn base. If I knew what it was, I would recommend this <laughs> to any dyer. Um, so it's definitely um, a really nice purchase. So let's go and look at the extras in the April box. So again, like I said, you get a little scratch off here that has, um, that has a coupon that you can use in their store. Okay. And members of the subscription box get that, whereas non-members don't. So that's like a bonus for those of you who are thinking, well, maybe I'll become a member. Maybe I won't. Um, and, um, so we have, we have in our extras, okay, now this is actually kind of making me want to love this a lot more. The colorway is called Some Bunny Loves You, and it's, um, it's actually inspired by the Velveteen Rabbit, and now I, like, totally love this and want it for myself. <laughs> right? Because that is so awesome. It is inspired by the Velveteen Rabbit. It's uh, the Velveteen Rabbit is a children's book slash adults book <laughs> about a um, stuffed animal. Um, and it's by Marjorie Williams, for those of you who wanted to check it out. Um, and here is a quote um, from the book. Real isn't how you're made, said the skin horse. And the skin horse is another character in the book. It's a thing that happens to you. When a child loves you for a long, long time, not just to play with, but really loves you, then you become real. And I just, oh my gosh, I'm going to cry. <laughs> I want to cry, but I'm not going to. Okay. <laughs> so it, the extras are a silver toned bunny progress keeper. And let's see if I can have it facing you guys. It's a nice progress keeper. Now they use a different kind of clasp. Oh, it is, it is a um, lobster clasp like I use with my stitch markers, but it's smaller than the ones that I would use. So I'm kind of having a little bit of a, of an issue getting this to become unattached. Oh, there we go. I got it. So just wanting to show you that stitch marker a little bit better. There you go. So it, we've got this bunny stitch marker. Now the clasp is very small but you can still fit that around the yarn that they give you. So that's good. And then we also have a carrot cake hazelnut toffee from Homemade Toffee Company. It's an award-winning toffee topped with creamy white chocolate, baking spices, freeze-dried carrots, and finished with roasted Oregon hazelnuts. Contains no, <clears throat> excuse me, contains no gluten, so why corn syrup are preservatives, it's happiness, plain and simple. All right, so we've got some of this. It comes in this sealed bag here, and it certainly looks yummy. Uh, now, I don't like toffee, but I, am, I know a couple of kids are, that are on their way home from school that do. <laughs> so we've got that, and then we have a wooden pinch bowl. So this can be used for all sorts of stuff, <laughs> right? You can use this um, to put little ingredients in um, when you're measuring out ingredients and all that kind of stuff. You can, um, I mean, if you're of the kind of sort, you could use this as an offering bowl. <laughs> Um, for those of you who, who know what I'm talking about, you could use it for that. Or what they suggest you use it for is, um, is holding your stitch markers, which 
I mean, I totally understand because I have these little bowls. Um, I have one with a little cat sitting on it and it was a black cat when I purchased it, but I took some white out and painted it so that it looked like baby, my cat, because <laughs> he's a tuxedo cat. And I put all of my stitch markers in, in that box. So I already have a box for my stitch markers, but it's small like this, you know, and it's just all my favorite stitch markers I can find. But that's what this is for, is for keeping your stitch markers in. Obviously you can use it for more is made out of birch and it's absolutely beautiful too. I want you guys to see the craftsmanship on this. It's nice. So when you think about the fact that I paid under a hundred dollars for this and I got this much stuff, it really is a good deal. Um, and if you don't need this much yarn, if you're like, well, I'd like to get just maybe one hank every so often or something like that, then they've got a package for you. So <laughs> I just wanted to share that with you guys. And um, I thought that it would be fun to open these live and all of that. Now that I know that this is based on the Velveteen Rabbit, my opinion of this yarn has completely changed. This is awesome. I love it. I think it's really, really great. And um, again, this is from Yarnable. Um, there will be a link below for you guys to check them out. It is an affiliate link, but um, it is a link for, for you to um, see all the stuff that they have. Okay, so the, the one thing that you might run into as a issue, it's not really that big of an issue, when you go to the site, is that they do sometimes have a waiting list. Now the waiting list is just so they can plan how much yarn to dye for that for the next um, month. So if you want to sign up for May's um, subscription box, um, all you have to do is put in your name and your email address and they'll send you an email um, with the link to sign up for it if they already have all of the positions filled. Um, so it's not like you won't get on the list. It's more like they just need to know how much interest it is so that they can judge how much to make. And since it's early in April, you should be able to get in um, maybe for April's, but at least by May, you'll you'll be able to get in on their subscription boxes. It's really, really nice. Um, and I recommend it. <laughs> All right. So that said, guys, um, just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video to the end. Um, I really appreciate it. Some of you guys have been asking, um, well, are you going to still post crochet content? What's up with the channel, the direction of the channel, because, you know, because I said in one of my most recent posts that I was going to focus more on dying. Um, I am going to continue to post as much crochet content as I can, okay? Um, I do not anticipate not posting, okay? I anticipate posting just as much as I as I have before. It's, it's just sometimes um, so on, on the weeks that I have more stuff to do in my life. I'm going to, the only thing I can really commit to is that I am going to be posting a dye video. Um, but on the weeks where I have more time, I love bringing content to you guys. And I have a lot of different stuff that I can bring to you. And um, I look forward to sharing that with you. So if I don't share it like immediately, know it'll, it'll be coming. All right. So I will see you soon in another video. For those of you who are watching, don't forget to hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. It helps me out, helps that algorithm and you get really cool content. So I don't see why you, sh you shouldn't subscribe, right? Make sure to hit the notification bell though, because I'm always having these huge giveaways. I have one right right now going on. Um, make sure you find that video so that you can enter to win because I've got a huge giveaway um, package and I always include even my hand dyed yarn in them. So you get a really good value for them <laughs> if you win, given that it's free, right? <laughs> so for those of you who haven't entered, find that video, enter to win. For those of you who aren't subscribed, subscribe so you can enter to win and you might get some free yarny stuff, which is awesome. Um, and um, to everybody, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon in another video. Bye for now.